Hi everyone, my name is Mary Lou Areno. Welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. Thank you for stopping by to watch my video and I hope you're having a wonderful time. For today's episode, I am going to share some tips on how you can reverse the situation in a job interview by interviewing your interviewer. Sounds difficult, yes but you need to know that you can ask the questions that you have in mind before you commit yourself to the job. So most interviewers, they ask the applicant towards the end of the interview sessions if they have questions. So this will be a great chance to interview your interviewer. What if they don't ask you? Can you still ask questions? Absolutely. I will give you five tips on what question you can ask to impress your interviewer. So first, you need to show that you are interested to get the job by asking what is the next step for this interview and when is the estimated time you will hear from them. This is important for you to know their plan. Is there a second interview? Are they going to conduct a reference check? Are they going to make a final decision with the higher authorities and so on? So you have to know that next step from the moment you are interviewed. So you can ask your interviewer, what is the next step from here? And you can hear from them. They will start explaining their procedure. So what is the second question that you can ask to the interviewer? You can ask about the mission statement of the company and why is this necessary? You need to picture your own vision or personal mission if they are in alignment of the school or company you intend to join. So you have to understand their mission statement so that you can prepare yourself to be part of that mission of the company you wish to join. So that is really necessary as their mission statement. And sometimes the employers or the app, uh, interviewer will be impressed like, oh, this applicant is unique. She's asking or he's asking a lot of questions pertaining to the company. He or she must be interested. So that is really very interesting. So the next question that you can ask to the interviewer is, you can ask for the salary range that they can possibly offer to you. The salary range, of course, must meet your expected range in order for you to accept the job or not. And you can make a decision from there. So this is really a must. This is not just for yourself, but also for the company. Their expectations and your expectation of the salary must be in alignment so that both parties will be happy in case you will join the company. So the next question or the fourth question that you can ask after the salary range are, what other benefits do you offer? So you can ask the benefits that they provide to employees, such as do they offer health insurance and what kind of health insurance? Do they offer retirement plan? Uh, are there professional development available for staff? Are there opportunities for continuing education like scholarship benefits and all? So you need to ask that question. What other benefits you can offer aside from the salary that you are offering. So what is the last question or the fifth question that you can ask to your interviewer? You can also ask about the procedure for staff orientation and training. In case you will be called to join the company, you, you have to ask the question to your interviewer whether they have this program for new employees regarding orientation and training. So 
because you are showing interest to know the company and try to fit yourself. So next time you go for an interview, do not be nervous. You can tell yourself that you are going for an interview to interview your interviewer as well. So that is the good way of looking at it. You are not there to, you know, uh, be interrogated by the employer, but you are there to present your qualifications, to present that you can be an asset to the company. And in return, you also have the right to interview them and find out some in information about the company before you make a decision. So that is my advice for you. You need to interview your interviewer. So I hope you learned from the discussion and uh, thank you for watching and see you on the next episode. If you have any comments, please write them down below. And if you are not my subscriber yet, please not, uh, you can just hit the subscription button to get notification. So thank you for watching and thank you for stopping by. I will provide more tips on how to get the dream job that you are hoping for. So thank you and to God be the glory. See you next time.